What did he find? What did he find? Oh my gosh, it's a thrifty find. Check it out now. The funk soul brother right about now. Hey, it's time for another episode of Tom's Thrifty Finds. Woo! What fun it is. Today... We're talking limited edition, America's favorite since 1902, Barnum's Animals Crackers by Nabisco. This is a little tin I found at Goodwill for a buck ninety-nine. This is specifically from 1989, made in the USA. So what makes this unique? Well, if you take a look, these animals are in their cages. And you know what? Just last year, Barnum's Animals Crackers changed it so now the animals are free and they're roaming the wilderness. They're happy little guys. They're not like this little polar bear that's all sad and stuff. Oh, you poor polar boy. Oh, you need a smoochy hug hug. Oh, you pull a bit. So as you can see, the animals are all free in their natural habitat. They're roaming around, just hanging out. Do 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 do. Wow. What's cool about this little collector's tin is that on the back of it, it includes a little background and some trivia. So I thought I'd just read that up. It's got, see here, I thought I'd read it up, you know, read it up. <laughs> That's what they say over here. Barnum's Animals Animal Crackers were introduced in 1902, packaged in a miniature replica of a P.T. Barnum circus wagon. The colorful and entertaining package, along with the crackers' distinctive animal shapes and delicious flavor, made them an instant favorite with children everywhere. It's also like a little musical instrument. They had a contest in 2002 to vote on what new animal they wanted to see as a as a cracker. Whoa! You could have voted for a cobra, a penguin, a walrus, and a koala. But I definitely would have voted for that cobra. But instead, everybody voted for the koala, and that's what you see now. And if you look on the back of the package, you can see the koala there. Just hanging out. Oh, and in case you were wondering, yes. <laughs> they did make a marine animals version. Let's open these up, shall we? Let's see what we got here. Oh my! <laughs> that is a monkey. Oh, I forget how detailed these these guys were. Oops. Yep, there's the monkey and a banana. What a good little monkey. Classic elephant. Or elephant. <laughs> Originally, Nabisco was called the National Biscuit Company, and it was founded in 1898. It wasn't until 1971 that it coined the term Nabisco, which is basically kind of like a combination of National Biscuit Company. One thing I did want to talk about is the logo design itself. Now, it may be easy to miss, but it is stamped on every single Oreo you've ever seen and for all we know that design with the little antennas is transmuting information through our bloodstream as we speak as you can see there's the little Nabisco logo around the Oreo I don't think I ever really noticed that before but it's pretty cool right <laughs> Hmm. These are getting kind of stale. Some people say that the design is an early European symbol of equality, or it's an Italian printer's mark that represents the triumph of the moral and spiritual over the evil and the material. Personally, I think it's a spaceship. You gotta trust me on this one. So I thought I'd show off some of the old school designs right now. So we got one with the Black Panther, an alligator, a gorilla, a giraffe. Oh yeah, and the originals had a drawstring rope. 
What was the original purpose of the unique string handle on Barnum's Animals Animal Crackers box? The string was attached so that the box could be used as a Christmas tree ornament. So there you go. <laughs> They're still around today, making stuff, doing stuff, all this crazy snacky stuff. But I will say one more thing, and that, and that it's bonus time. Thanks, Jerry! My friend sent me these battle trolls, and I never owned any. They are quite terrifying. They're not very poseable, you mean they just kind of stand there in one spot. This one here is a ninja. It's got some battle scars. 1992 by Hasbro, of course. And I got another one here, this is like a little punk dude. It's got a bunch of piercings. This guy is, look at that. I uh, like on this side, he's got a little skull piercing. Battle trolls, he's ready to battle. Battle it up, trolls. Hey trolls, don't you want to battle? No, we want to make out. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. So one thing I noticed about these, I looked around online to see how much they were selling for, and they were going for anywhere from two ninety nine to like fifty bucks. There was one dude who's it looks like crap. It's all rusted, and he's trying to sell it for ten fifty. I can see they had probably made so many of these that they're really not worth anything. People are probably just trying to reach for whatever they can get. I regret buying it to this day. Peace be with you. Thrifty, thrifty, Tom, thrifty finds. What'll he find next? I don't know. Guess you'll just have to watch the next show. Tom's thrifty finds. Yeah.